Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new version of My Maps, which is formerly known as Google Maps Engine Lite, and we'll look at how to create a custom map. So let's go ahead and create a new map here. And let's start by giving the map a title. I'm just going to call it the places that I have visited. And just like Google Maps Engine Lite did in My Maps, you can create multiple layers in your map. Let's call our first layer places I visited as a teenager. Now let's go ahead and add our first place mark to the map. Uh, if you have a place in mind, the easiest way to do this is to do a quick search up here. So I'm going to say Chula Vista, California. And I'm going to now click this add marker and then click on the map and let's just call this one Chula Vista and I'm going to add a little bit of information about that place mark and why I'm adding it to the map. I might say I visited the Olympic Training Center here. in 1995. Now I can add an image or a video to my place mark by clicking that little icon. You can do a Google image search. If you have an image hosted online, let's say it's on Flickr or uh, in your Picasso web albums, you can link to it that way. You can do a video search. Let's say um, I was there for the US Olympic archery events. And let's just go ahead and, uh, yep. so there's a video of someone shooting at the Olympic Training Center in 2008. Let's go ahead and add that to the place mark. And you can add multiple um, items to the place mark by clicking this little plus button. And now we can add another video. Now we have two videos within that place mark. Now let's save that. I'll close that out. Let's add a second layer to our map now. Um, adding multiple layers is a great way for students to compare sets of information, to break out um, different pieces of information into different categories. Uh, so in my next layer, I'm going to add a new layer here. In my next layer, I'm going to call this places I have visited as an adult. So again, the process for adding a new place mark is the same as it was before. I'm going to do a quick search here. I'm going to say Bow Island, Alberta, Canada. And I'll put another marker there. So I'll click add marker once. Click it again. I'll say Bow Island, Alberta. Home of Pinto McBean, the world's largest Pinto bean. And let's see if we can find a video about Pinto McBean. No, it doesn't look like that, but we can do something for Bow Island, Alberta. There we go. There's a little time lapse. And we can add that to our map. Now, if we want to customize these uh, labels, let's say we want to customize the color here for our place mark icons, we can do so by just accessing this little menu here. When you hover over the name of your place mark, you can change the color of the icon. You can also change your icon shape. If you go into more icons, you can choose some custom or 
some custom icons here. Let's say I want to uh, put a flag in there instead. I can put that in its place. Now you can add as many place marks as you like to each layer in your map. Uh, in the next video that we do, we'll look at how to import data into a map, import a spreadsheet into your map. But let's take a look now at sharing. So I have my name and description. Just repeat the description down there. And now we can share the map. Uh, by default, your map is private. We can change that to anyone with the link can view. We can also let anyone with the link edit the map. So if you want students to collaborate on, on a map, you can share it with them that way. We can also invite people directly. So let's say I want to invite Morrison. Now he can edit the map or he can be a viewer of the map. So it's a good way to have students collaborate on a map. And if you do have students collaborating on a map, one nice tip is to have them uh, work on different layers. So student one works on one layer, student two works on another layer, um, so they don't end up uh, writing on top of each other's place marks. So that's the basics of creating a custom map in My Maps. In the next video, we'll look at how do you import data.